Hello everybody, Brad here today and welcome back to Project Hospital. I hope you're all doing okay. So between last episode and this one, we've had a little update. Also, lovely Moomin Little Socks has provided us with some sexual health posters. So I've got in some genitalia here. Oh, oh. And there's also one based around viruses and I, I assume it probably tell you how you can prevent viruses so I'll change some of these posters in the doctor's offices I've just changed the ones that we had in the waiting room here for the moment because there are only two for the start but thank you very much thank you uh, Moom and Little Socks for doing that that's very very kind so we were building the oncology department last time and building the infrastructure and like how the rooms are going to lay out so today let's just go ahead and get in this oncology department so let's start with the reception that makes sense doesn't it so let's get in a little reception desk it doesn't have to be very big because it's not going to be a very big department so something like that is going to be lovely we'll get an office chair for whichever gentleman or lady is going to be sitting behind here being our receptionist PC then we can get in a few decorative things like the card files water dispenser what else could we get in maybe a printer for the desk just there if we just shift those down a tad that is lovely that's lovely get in a nice plant and we'll get in some magazines okay it's probably worth us getting in a couple benches. We're we'll getting a couple, just like so. We're we'll getting a cheeky little coffee table. Uh, that go grey with a little lamp on that, uh, like so. Then there's some oncology pictures, a framed picture to remind patients to never give up hope. Oh, isn't that lovely? And there's another pink one. Let's get along. That that's very very nice. We'll get in some things to hopefully try and prevent fires. Um, fire alarm could go somewhere like that. You'd probably have some brochures and stuff, leaflets telling people where they can get further help, all of that kind of good stuff. Escape route you probably have somewhere. That's pretty good, I like that. Very, very simple. A restroom is one of the easiest rooms to build because it's fairly simple and you know what you need in it. So let's get in a few stools. So I'm going to be able to get four in there. So let's get some WCs in. We're going to need doors for those stools. Like that. Then we can get in sinks, hand dryers, all that kind of jazz. So mirrors, hand dryers. We'll get another one in there. Maybe, yeah, that's probably enough actually. I don't think we'll fit much more in there. Could we get the info poster? Maybe worth getting that. Okay, clean and closet towards the back here. Let's get in a couple of shelves, a couple of bucket carts, so we can get like a plastic hamper. We'll get in the sink, get some cabinets above there. Maybe we could get in a fire axe, might be something you, you know, might have in a clean and closet plant. Staff room, it's quite a small staff room. So if we get in, a sofa with a bookcase, a TV. We can get in a coffee vending machine, a vending machine. Maybe we're getting in one locker. Then we can get a dining table over here so people can sit down, have their lunch. Um, I think that's good. Maybe get out a clock. A clock can go there. Get out a notice board, maybe some posters. Yeah, okay, I like that. Right, the waiting room. The waiting room. Let's get out like a little row of benches there. Get some more there. Get to of getting coffee vending machine, vending machine, water dispenser. Get out a few chairs like that. Um, I'm gonna need the info TV with the cue machine. Probably have another screen above those seats there. Then we can make this quite a nice place, get some plants out. Fire extinguisher makes sense. And maybe a lamp. 
then here if I get out this table here I want to get out some coffee tables probably get a bin out is a good idea uh, move that chair down there okay oh I need a little waiting room sign don't I waiting room sign there what else we need the signs for oh waiting room need the signs for the actual offices themselves if we get that being one then two I can't put that there because of that so if we put the screen in there can we get the two behind that yeah lovely and then the three down there then we'll get in the doctor's office signs that one might have to come on that wall there just like that Okay, we're going to need a toilet sign, which is that one. Ah, oh, fire alarm. Where can we put the fire alarm? Let's put the fire alarm there. Then we can go back and put in the toilet sign, just like that. And out here, we'd probably want some oncology signs, a bit like that, just so you know what department that is. Okay, so now the actual doctor's offices gonna need to be simple and cost-effective ideally if we go for some brown desks maybe so that one can go there that desk can go there and then we'll get the last one in there just for a bit of a variance get in the office chairs we're gonna need some PCs and we'll go printer printer and this one up here can have the paper holder bins so we'll go for the red I think we'll go red and yellow actually. So we do that and we use the same in each of these. Red and yellow bins. Can we get the disinfectant over them? It's probably worth us getting some of this from the waiting room as well. Let's put disinfectant dispenser over there. Can we get some outside? Because that would make sense. Equipment cabinet, pop that in. We're going to need the exam table. Let's get that maybe there. That needs a medical light. We're going to want some kind of privacy screen. So if we pop the privacy screen there and there, and you can close those if you need to get changed. Get in the fancy chair so you can talk to your doc all about what's wrong with you. Then we're going to need to fit in. Hmm. Hmm, we're going to need to fit in some equipment cabinets, aren't we? So can we get the chair? Hmm, okay. Can we get the chair? We can get the chair there. Oh, I don't really like that. Or if we get the exam table there. Or maybe get rid of that. Then the chair can go there. And hopefully we can get in... Can that go at the bottom there? Yes. Then we can get in some equipment cabinets for the audio meter and the CRP scan. Perfect. Okay. So let's just think of this room. So we're going to need exam table. That one can go there. Medical light. We'll get in the privacy screen right next to it. Fancy chair can be next to the doctor, just like so. Then we're going to need some equipment cabinets. Get them there with an audio meter, CRP scan, eye test in there. Well, that room has lots of space. Let's get an oxygen tank for in here. Just something a little bit different. Okay. And then this last room, again, we'll go exam table, maybe on that wall. Maybe there. Privacy screen. We'll get in a fancy chair. And then we're going to need the equipment cabinets one there one there all do meter crp scan eye test and medical light for the exam bed then we can go around and get in a few decorative bits and bobs we'll get in a plant there and We'll get in that one in the corner there. We'll get out some posters. 
Maybe we'll have one on the heart, one there. Maybe we'll do another viral one there. Get out some more posters in the waiting room. Get that one out, get the skull. They aren't directly related to oncology, but just get a few bits and bobs out. Okay, I like that, I like that. So staff, this rep, oh, if I can speak, receptionist for the day. Let's reveal hidden perks. So let's go, you're pretty good. You're a scholar, you're a people person, you're quite nice and you're cheap as well, actually, you're the cheapest. Let's get in you, Carol Ranson, you're in. Janitors, we'll go one in a day, one at night, I think. So we're gonna get in. You're pretty good, Thomas Martin. You're expensive, but you're pretty good. And let's also go for, I'll go for Karen at night. She likes her food, but that's fine. Karen, it's fine. Everyone likes their food, don't they? Right, doctors. So you're gonna need a chief doctor as well. Oh, you're pretty good. Let's get in Mary Miller. And she's gonna be our chief doctor because she's very good. Then we can get in David Baker's good. He's expensive though. Let's give her two doctors for the moment. And if we need more doctors, then we'll get more doctors. That's absolutely not a problem whatsoever. And we'll try and see if we can get any patients coming to our oncology clinic now that it's open. So we have an objective here to open hospitalization at any specialized department. So what would we need to open a hospitalization for oncology? We'd need an on-call room, nurses station, diagnostic unit, regular ward, high dependency unit, and ideally an operating room. That's quite a lot. Um, I think we'd probably want that to start venturing upstairs, I would imagine. So we could start thinking about how we're gonna plan out the upstairs. Oh, we've got some patients. Who's this? We've got Judy Wright, okay. Well, where's Judy going? Judy's going in there. And we've also got Richard Martin. So Richard Martin can have lots of things at the moment. So let's give him, it looks like there's something wrong with his arms. Maybe let's do a skin allergy test. Uh, what's all oh, Judy's got her top off Judy's got her top off so she's definitely got something wrong with her lungs so let's do a physical exam um, fish not at the moment might be worth doing like an x-ray on her chest that could probably show us if she has any tumors on her chest which I assume at the moment she probably does so you can get an x oh do we need another x-ray room how much would it cost if I were to copy that is it going to tell me? I don't know. Let's just do it. Should we do it? YOLO? Should we do it? Let's do it. Oh, not actually that bad at all. Let's get in another radiologist for x-ray. Get someone in with good perks. You're, I mean, you're late in, but you're pretty good. You're quite expensive. You're pretty good. Let's get in David. David, you're in. We've got another x-ray room, so hopefully old Judy here be seen in a fairly sharpish manner. Is the x-ray going to divulge anything for us? Um, not really. I mean, she needs to go and speak to her doctor first anyway. So let's go and see the doctor again. Who is she seeing today? She's seeing David. Okay. What's David saying about your x-ray? Oh my god, we've got lots of things going on here. Um, David King cannot be hospitalised for oncology. Right, we're going to need to build hospitalisation guys, aren't we? Where's our nearest elevator? Just here. So do we get an elevator in, in oncology and build our ward upstairs? Or do we build our oncology ward downstairs? We need to name one of our doctors as Mojo D. So let's... Oh, you could be the chief here, Mary Miller. She's a little bit old. Now you'll be fine. Here you go. Mojo D. No, not do. D. There you go, Mojo D. You are now officially an oncology doctor. I think we should start venturing upstairs. I think it'd be quite nice to venture upstairs. Let's look out some tall windows. Like that. Right, let's go upstairs. 
I think that's going to be the best thing for us. So if I get in this wall in pink, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to have this as a little corridor with some nice double doors. And then actually I can probably get rid of that wall because in here I would like us to have an elevator. Loving an elevator like so. I do apologise for the singing. And then we'll get a nice little floor in there. Lovely. And then we can have a direct route upstairs to our wards. So let's add new floor. No, we're not going to copy tiles or walls. It is going to place in our elevators for us. So let's build around with the plain wall. So we're going to have that coming in like so. Then what I wanted is to have our operating rooms in the middle. So I'd quite like this space kind of here, a bit like this, kind of save for our operating theatres and maybe have like a couple of operating theatres in there. Because I know they can be shared, but you would have them separate. So maybe we'll keep that space separate for the moment. We'll keep going with the pink theme for oncology. So let's have that come through. Right, and what do we need? Let's try and plan this out. I'll try and be, well, intelligent as possible. Well, for me anyway. So, diagnostic units. We could have them up here. I think five by five for them is good. So we can have that space for the diagnostic units we can have regular ward if i get in regular ward for the moment to be down here and if we get in as small as we can then we'll just get in like one unit so one unit i mean a hospital bed bedside cabinet bed socket and then a chair and a little coffee table, a bit like that. That to me is one unit. So if I get that, how many can I fit? So if I do that, so that's two units, three, four, five. So if I, for the moment, do my ward so that it could get in 10 at least, so if I do, if I put one more of these in and I know how far I have to go, uh, I want a bit of space in the middle, something like that. Get in those nice pink walls, that's going to come all the way down and that's going to be our regular ward. So it's probably worth us just getting rid of that wall just there. All of this is going to be a regular ward, like so. We're going to save one space for doors, you know, just general access, all of that kind of stuff. So let's have that there. Can I get one more unit in? Let's get that in there. We'll move the door one space along. So that now goes there. Do a bit of decoration whilst we are here. And we're going to get in defibrillator that's all we need because we're running out of a bit of money so let's just you know get bare bones for the moment bare bones get in all of the basics that we need and then we can start making it look a little bit more realistic a little bit nicer okay so let's get in some windows here we're definitely going to win some windows for our ward so let's put in some windows there for the moment because we'll probably build out here so our diagnostic unit needs an exam table. Let's get that in the corner. We're going to get in the privacy screen, a bit like that. We'll get in two. We're going to need disinfectant dispensers. We'll get one out for the hallway. Then we'll get one in there with some bins. We'll do red and yellow. We'll get in the whiteboard because I like the whiteboard. You know me, guys. I like the whiteboard. Then we need a mobile workstation mobile equipment cabinet, the medical light for the bed, an eye test, and audio meter and CRP scans. We can get those like there. 
audio meter CRP scan. So that's our diagnostic unit. We'll get some nice red tiles there. Then the rest of the room can maybe be like white tiles. How does that look? Oh, that's pretty cool. I quite like that. So that's our diagnostic unit. So that's two of the rooms done. Then we're going to need on call room, nurses station, and high dependency unit. So if we get, hmm, if we got in the same ward for high dependency, could that fit down there? It could, okay. So if we got that in somewhere like there and then if we just get in one bed okay, this is going to be high dependency so we're not going to need well we're going to need the life monitors so for the moment we'll probably just get one so that one bed is available okay perfect so now we need the nurses station and the on call room so what i'm actually going to do is get rid of that extra diagnostic unit we'll get rid of that wall and we'll just come straight down a bit like that we can also get rid of that wall in there and have that open up a little bit so let's open that up and then in here we can get in our doctor's offices and our nurse's station. So if we have this as one big room, we'll have a nice door of a window. Uh, do we need two doors? I don't know if we need two doors. Oh, I imagine we would actually, won't we? So let's get another door in there. Then we're going to get that as the on-call room. That as the nurse's station. So quite small, but we'll try and pack it all in. So let's get some desks out. For the moment, we'll just go with the three, I think. Something like that. Office chairs. Oh God, I've got in bloody loads, look. That one can go there, then we're gonna need PCs, PCs, PCs. We'll be paper holders for the moment because we're pretty poor. That's all we need. So if we duplicate that and pop that in there oh i've done that all wrong and i can't undo can i then i can get rid of the wall we'll get rid of the door that is actually going to be a nurse's station okay missing equipment so we're missing the meal tray and some equipment cabinets let's get the tool equipment cabinet and I think that's good. So this can all be some nice wood flooring. Outside here, we'll just go with the basics for the moment. Hopefully next episode, we'll have a bit more money. And the wards, how do we want the... Maybe, should we do this going up the middle with the back bits maybe being white? What does that look like? I don't know if I like that. At the, well, at the moment, it will probably do, actually. So maybe for the high dependency unit, we could go with the line going round the outside, round the outside, round the outside, a bit like that. Yeah, OK. I think that will do. Like I said, very bare bones, just to get everything in for the moment. So that's all we need. We just need a staff. So, nurses, let's go for, oh god, I've not, so I can't see the perks. So you're pretty good actually, Thomas King. So let's get in you. We need two surgery nurses. So you're gonna have to guess. Let's get in Margaret. Margaret's just gonna do patient transfers. You're not gonna do patient transfers. And we need one more who's good at surgery, really. Oh, we're in debt, look, we're in debt. So we're gonna have to get, let's get in you. Um, and we need one nurse for the night. Yeah, one nurse for the night. We're getting you, Margaret Robinson. So that's our nurses done. Now we're gonna need three doctors. 
So let's go for, we need an anaesthetologist, so we're going to have to get Sarah Johnson. We need one surgeon, which we haven't got any at the moment. So let's go for one doctor who isn't a surgeon. Oh, you're pretty good at night, Paul Foss. So let's get in you for the night. For the day, we're going to go for Peter Rodriguez. These could be all the wrong doctors. These could be not very good. And we're going to need to refresh the list because we need someone more with surgical for oncology. So I'm going to have to get in John Williams. That was expensive, wasn't it? That was expensive. This is going to be a corridor. There. There. And there. And we're going to need a stretcher. Who might spare stretchers downstairs? Can I please nick that one? I'm going to put that one up into oncology for our department to work properly. Perfect. So we have, should have, officially opened hospitalisation at um, a specialised department, sorry, which we have. So that's perfect. We now have our specialised unit of oncology. So that's that objective complete. That increases our clinic patients per day of 15. Perfect. You can now be hospitalised. Mr. Daniel King. Yep, okay, we sort that out. And then next episode, hopefully with more money, and we can make this look a lot, lot nicer. Okay, so is that our old friend Judy? Yeah, so we're still not sure what's wrong with Judy, look. Let's go with maybe a blood smear. A biopsy will probably be good, and we'll see how that goes for Judy. Okay. So I think I'm going to leave this episode here for today, guys. Please join us next time where we're going to have a good look at kind of um, make, making over our oncology department. And we'll have a little look around and see if we can, you know, if we need to do any staff adjustments. Because hopefully we'll have more money and hopefully we can have a look at these staff up here and replace them with better staff if needs be. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you're all doing okay. I hope coronavirus isn't getting you down too much. And I'll see you in the next episode. Have a great day, guys. And I'll see you later. Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel down below if you haven't done so already. And please feel free to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Have a great day. See you later.